Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? What? Are you right out of the vault? Paradise Falls is home to the slavers. Up there we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, piss off. Yeah, well, you don't like it? Keep walking. It's that simple. You got something else to say, or did you just come here to preach at me? Like what? Don't be wasting my time out here, or I'll throw you in the pens with the rest of the meat. Yeah, supposed to be some kind of gang or something. Big deal. They wouldn't dare come around Paradise Falls. There's two kinds of people who get into Paradise Falls. Slaves and slavers. So, unless you're looking to become a slave, piss off. What I need is for you to piss off. Eulogy Jones doesn't have time for putting up with morons and assholes like you. That's my job. But even I got limits. And all your yapping is giving me a migraine. Give me some reason I shouldn't just end you, right here and now. You don't give up, do you? Hmm. Maybe I have something you can do for me. And if you don't screw it up, maybe I'll help you into paradise. Think you got what it takes to round up some slaves? Oh no, I'm crushed, heartbroken. Here I thought we could be best friends for life. Quit wasting my time. Now piss off before I start shooting. Do I look like someone who wants to be your friend? Are you a moron? Why do you keep coming around? Piss off already. Unless, have you changed your mind? Do you want to take me up on the offer of employment? We might be able to work something out, but it won't be cheap. If I vouch for you and you go mess up our groove, it's my ass on the line. I think 500 caps should cover it. What do you say? Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy your visit to Paradise Falls. Friendly warning. Don't act like a jackass. You won't get a second chance. I guard the gate, that's all. What the fuck do you want from me? There may be danger here. God, mister, you gotta help us. You gotta get us out of here. The fuck you looking at, huh? He did it. Dumb shit should have known the collar would blow. Now somebody's gotta clean up this mess. You gotta help, you just gotta. I can't keep talking to you, or else he'll shoot me. Quit hassling the merchandise. You gotta help, you just gotta. I can't keep talking to you, or else he'll shoot me. Hey, back away from the kid.
Yeah? You don't exactly look like you belong here. Cut it out. I can't believe that Grouse let you in here. You don't exactly look like you belong here. Hello. Guns, guns, and more guns. What do you need? No pr Sure, man. Take Give me a shout if you need anything else. Yeah, pretty much. Take it apart, put it back together. It ain't hard. Sometimes I design my own weapons, too. Well, the guys usually bring in what they grab on missions. I mean, you always got to kill a few people when you're gathering meat. You know, they've got some guards. The dad thinks he's a hero and pulls a gun, whatever. So they bring that crap in here and trade it. But mostly, the only stuff I get is from these guys. And they keep the good stuff for themselves. Yeah, pretty much. Greedy assholes. I don't know how I'm supposed to pull down a living over here when they don't trade fair. I'd have to have some decent supplies to trade for them. If I have more things that these douchebags want, they'll bring me better stuff to trade. But you know, I'm a one-man operation here. Not like I get out a lot. Pretty much, my business is at the mercy of assholes. Fucking free market, man. Yeah, I know. I could really get this little shithole going if I had some better stuff. First things first, bring me some Chinese assault rifles. People always need them for parts. Twenty should get me going. I'll trade them off and I should be able to improve my stock pretty fast. All right. Twenty Chinese assault rifles and we're in business. Just bring any you find back to me. Any piece of shit will do. I'm just gonna be breaking them apart and trading the parts. You know where to find me. Bye. Get your business done and go. Keep walking. 
Jotun. No, it is not nice. What do you want? I keep my father safe. It is. A big job. Yeah, see ya. It smells like meat. Don't think I won't throw Move your on. ass in the pens with the rest of the meat. Okay, seriously. <laughs> smells like Leave meat. Me alone. Move on. Sorry, bro. Got nothing to say to you. Don't think I won't throw your ass in the pans with the rest of the meat. You went out with Emer last week, didn't you? Catch anything good? Considering how bad it's been around here, I'm not Goddamn happy. tin can. What? You went out with email last week. Why, look what we have here. Some fresh meat, right out of the wastes. You just want to go ahead and jump in the pen with the others? Or should I beat you senseless and drag you there myself? I ain't mean, not by a long shot. You want to see mean? You should have met my daddy. That son of a bitch had cut your legs off just to laugh at you trying to crawl away. I saw him do it once, too. Just kept laughing at this poor bastard. After an hour or so, Daddy got bored and crushed his skull with a rock. Come to think of it, that was pretty funny. Bye. Brought anything lately? Catch anything good? Hey, Jotun. <clears throat> Why don't you look where you're going? You don't exactly look like you belong here. What do you want? You're a mess. I hope you brought a lot of money with you. You're right. You do need a doctor. Lucky I happened along. But first, let's discuss my fee. 100 caps ought to cover it. Then why are you bothering me? Bye! Sorry, bro. Got nothing to say I to didn't. you. I swear. This is your last mistake, little bartender. Hey! Watch out! Where? You like that? That takes care of that. <laughs> Hello, I am Ymir. He put water in my vodka to make more caps from me. Make the drink weak. Try to charge me more. Maybe the next bartender, he won't be so stupid, huh? <laughs> Does it matter? It only matters where I am, and that is here. I have my boy, my friends, plenty of caps, and strong drink. Why would the past matter when now is so good? Bye.
Okay, seriously, leave me alone. Because one dog ain't enough, and two is too low, it's me, three dog! How you kids handle it? Must be our prospective customer. I do hope Paradise Falls can accommodate your needs. We make no judgments, no assumptions. We understand that it's a harsh world out there, and you do what you must to make it. Now, was there something specific you were interested in? Paradise Falls is here if you need it. Keep staring and I'll start charging. What do you want, Square? Listen, I need you. Watch it. Hey, mister, can you get us out of here? I'm Sammy, I'm from Little Lamplight. Me and Squirrel and Penny, we aren't supposed to be here. We gotta get back home. You gotta help us get out of here. Can't you just shoot them all? No? I you sure? Well, okay. I guess maybe we could try Squirrel's plan. He says it'll work, but I don't know. It means using computers and stuff. Hang on, let me get him, and he can tell you the plan. I don't understand some of it anyway. Hey, that's the Mungo. Go talk to him. You're the Mungo that's helping us, huh? Sammy says she wants to know the plan. Well, listen up, Mungo, because it's a good one. I'm super smart.
Man, you're cranky. Fine, here's what you do. You go on into the boss guy's room and use his terminal. Get the one in here added to the network. Think you can handle that, Mungo? I told you, it's in the boss guy's room. You gotta sneak in there or something. That's up to you to figure out, Mungo. Oh, come on. Aren't you Mungo's good for anything? I'm a kid. I can do it. Why can't you? Listen, if you can't make that work, there might be one other way to do it. Even for a stupid Mungo like you. There's a junction box along the wall in the eating area. Switch a few cables there and we're good. So there you go. Either you better be pretty good at fixing stuff, or you better learn how to use a terminal real fast. Gee, thanks. Don't work too hard, okay? This place is not safe. How'd that roundup go? Watch it. Keep walking. every year. Are we running out of wastelanders or something? What's up, Mungo? You fixed that terminal yet? Alright. You're okay for a Mungo, you know that? So we're one step closer to getting out of here. Well, with the terminal, I can turn off the collars and open up the gate. But they're not gonna just let us walk out of here, you know? There's always at least one guard near the pen. And someone's gotta get rid of him. Since we can't just walk around like we own the place, you're gonna have to do it. You get me? Man, can't you think of anything on your own? Around midnight, there's only one guard. But it's that really mean guy, Forty. Still. Probably your best chance to try something. Do what you gotta do, you know. Just get him away from his post. What the shit? Come on! You already did half the work. Just a little more and we're out of here. Don't screw us over now! Hey! So you're gonna take care of that guard or what? My hands are tied here! It's not like I want to be working with a mungo like you, but I got no choice. Come on! Okay, don't do anything stupid. What? We got a reason to be talking I ain't aware of? Huh? Yeah, I mean, they pay well enough, I guess. What the hell do you care? Maybe. And maybe it's time to see eulogy about a raise. I'm sorry to 
So what's the deal, Mungo? Now don't worry. We're out of here. Me and Sammy can make it no problem. The drain in the bathroom is small. We'll fit through, but Mungo's can't. But you gotta tell Penny it's time to go. She's being all dumb and won't listen to us. You gotta talk to her. Beats me. I don't get girls at all. She's all sweet on Roy McLaren or something. Says she won't leave while he's still in the box. Hell, I don't know. Go talk to her. Try and get her to get out while she can. Me and Sammy are getting out of here now, though. If you can get her to come, meet us east of here after you're out. But one day you'll come around. I'm here to help you if that happens. Cut it out! You're the Mongo that helped Sammy and Squirrel, aren't you? Well, I already told them I'm not going anywhere. Not without Rory. No! I'm not leaving while they still got Rory locked up. He's the only person that's been nice to me. I'm not just gonna leave him like that. You'll help? Oh, thank you! You have to get Rory out of the box. He's locked in there, and the guards have the key. I think Forty has one. I don't know where the other one is. Probably the boss guy has it. Or it's in his room. You find the key, you can get Rory out, and then I'll leave. Can't nobody eat 50 eggs. I've killed people for looking at me like that. I'm busy, so piss off. You got business here, you talk to Eulogy. Who the hell are you? What? Are you kidding me? This is another one of Forty's tricks, isn't it? Well, I'm not falling for it. She did? Is she safe? Can I see her? No, no, I want Penny to be safe. She shouldn't be having second thoughts just because of me. Just make sure you take care of her. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to her or her friends. So, what do we do now? You got it. I'll stay right with you. Get me to the front gate and I can make a run for it from there. Rory safe yet? You saved him? Really? Thank you so much! I'll make it up to you somehow, I promise. Now I have to get out. Don't follow me. You go out the normal way. We'll meet outside.
Hey, you want to see something funny? All I need is some booze, and I'll show you. Later. What? Uh huh? Me? You're talking to me? Yes? What do you need? What? You'll have to speak up. Oh, him? No, I have no idea where he is. Bye. This place is terrible, please. You've got to help us. Bye. What is it? Can't you see that I'm watching the guards? I'm watching the patrols. What do you think I'm looking at? They switch it up a little bit every day, but just a little. There has to be some sort of pattern to it. It's just a matter of watching and waiting. Yeah, see ya. Hope you know what you're doing. Watch yourself up there. Tell Eulogy I said hi. We're free! <laughs> We're out of that shit box. Thanks for getting us out of there. If you ever need anything, you come see us. Mayor will be nice to you. I'll make sure of it. We're free! You should come to Little Lamplight sometime, Mongo. You ever make it to Little Lamplight? Okay after all. You come say hi. Okay, Mongo? You're okay after all, Mungo. You can come in, but you better not piss me off. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here, and the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungo's living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. 
Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown-ups outside. It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. About time. It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. What do I look like, your tour guide? You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. Hey, me. you're a Mungo now. You gotta leave. Don't just stand there. Get out of here already. Stay away, Mungo. I don't want to catch old from you. Mongo. Yeah. Well, look who's here. What's up, Mungo? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo? <laughs> could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk.
Oh, are we letting Mungos in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So, who are you? And how'd you get let in? Well, that was you? Nice work. I hope one of you grabbed some of their gear before you left. Gotta make them pay for something like that. Speaking of which, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect knickknacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? Sure, let me see that thing. I hope you brought me some cool stuff. Come again, I should have more stuff soon. Come on back when you got more stuff to trade. The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? Oh, that's good because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. That reminds me, got any Nuka Cola? Because if I'm not gonna have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more Nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that because I'm not made of metal, but I do go up and down, I guess. Why Zip? Or why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky, or Yancey, or Eustace P. Vanderbagger the Third? I mean, they say it's because I'm so fast, but that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just that they're all slow. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that'll never really get answered, sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka Cola. Say, got any cola? 
Yeah, I got lots of trade. But you got no Nuka? You're not getting nothing. No way. Okay. See you next time, mister. Thanks for getting Penny and Squirrel back, and Sammy too, I guess. Mongo, I don't want to catch old from you. Welcome to Widow Wampwite. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scav team, so I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my Wazer rifle? 500 caps and it's all yours. Okay, it's your loss. Nickname? What are you talking about? We don't go there. Mm. 
I sure did. 500 caps and this laser rifle's all yours. That's not a lot, but okay. Bye now. Well, now, here's something new. What's a grown-up like you doing in Little Lamplight? Don't tell me McCready's going soft on us. That was you? Well, my most sincere thanks, then. You brought my sister Penny back to me, and I couldn't ask more than that. I'm Joseph, and if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching. But I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. Say, if you're ever looking for a haircut, I'd be glad to offer my services. You only have to ask. Nuh-uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day, somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Sure, if you want. Come on, it's over here! to talk? I'll get that computer turned on for you. There may be danger here. 